morning how are we all doing um it's mid-january and it's um a bit chilly but it's lovely blue skies you can tell behind me um nice crisp day and so i thought i'd head over to skipton today uh, it's a lovely place to chill and uh, i might have a wander around the castle look at the market get some food obviously um, it's always nice up there um, i might stop off on the way back at keithley and see if they've started to work on the um station there and see what's um, happening so yeah just really nice chilled out day and that so yeah let's see what happens So I just arrived up at Skipton train station and that, just heading over that way to the canal. It's a nice station up here, lovely place. So literally just from the train station you just walk right over there, over the road. And you're on the canal and a lovely walk straight into Skipton. Great way to spend the day really, isn't it? When I was first looking at getting a boat, I did actually think um, about trying to get in a mooring up here. Because Gibson's a lovely place just to um, live, really. It's a nice historic market town. And uh, with a castle and so many nice memories. I always used to come up here as a kid. <laughs> Even while owning a boat, you can't stop looking at other people's boats and enjoying them. Just so many different types and looks and um, lovely names on them all. Sorry, I nearly tripped up then. The, um, yeah, it's just a short walk into Skipton. I love the word chuffed. I had to take a video of it. This little blue boat we're coming up to is actually um, an ice cream van, but I've never ever seen it open every time I've come here. You know, obsessed to get with ice cream as well. You can get day boat hires up here. In summer there's a lot more activity, obviously. Can't believe what a lovely day it is. So I've just come off the canal and that uh, was skipped from just up there. The town, normally a duck come this way. So I thought I'd take a little 10 minute walk and just see what other side of this bridge is. At the moment, normally completely ignore. So we'll just take a little wander down here. So that bus up there it just remind me that settles really close um, to Skipton. It's another nice little town and that. 
used to drive up there a lot and um, yeah they had a little market and things like that and then you head up to the lake so it used to be a nice little stop off just see the little map up here before it's show you Yeah, head back to the bridge and end the walk into Skipton Town. Hopefully there's a market on today. It used to be huge but uh, the past few times that I've come it's been a lot smaller. So see what it brings today. I might put the um, Skipton Castle into a different video because it be a bit long. You might be asleep. Actually, that might be good. You don't want to go to sleep just listening to me. So, um, yeah, I'll stick it in a different video then just um, continue a little trip down Skipton. Cheeky Cornish pasty, but you're not allowed to call them Cornish pasties anymore from years ago. I think you've got to call them beef and veg or something now. Bit of a shame. Nice anyway. Tastes the same. Different name. Who cares? Just heading back to the train station now. Um, but the forecast actually got it right. Dead on two o'clock. It's nine to rain. Let's see what the speckles are. Um, it's a miracle in itself. So yeah, what I might do is um, stop off at Keefley on the way back and see how the works are uh, going on at the um, train station. So, nice. Just dodging rings on the floor for a trip up and make a fool of myself. Or is that a very strange position for a kangaroo or whatever it is to be? It's about nine and a quarter miles to Leeds. I'm going to follow that far to be honest. you know me and food. Just had a show. Once in life a proper filled sandwich. Now you get a skit a little bit of meat don't you? A little bit of salad. It's actually really nice. Bread's nice too. Result and that cottage pasta earlier. Beautiful. I should have said beef and veg. Whatever. Nice. <laughs> 